Hi guys, so today's tutorial is going to be on this super cool blue and purple galaxy inspired eye look. So I'm going to start out by priming my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And for my shadow today, I'm going to go use this Buxom Customizable Palette and I'm going to go in with this crease shade called Star Treatment and I'm going to push that all around my crease and this is going to be my transition shade. Even when you're doing a very colorful eye look, you're going to want to use a neutral shade in the crease just to keep the look nice and put together. After I have that color all nice and blended out in my crease, I'm going to go in with this super gorgeous Morphe palette, the 35B palette, and I'm going to take this grayish toned purple shade, and I'm going to put that right over top of that buxom shadow we just put in the crease. I'm using the Sigma E40, a nice fluffy brush to make this color nice and blown out because this is going to keep the look very airbrushed. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some depth in my crease with this nice bright violet shade and I'm going in with the Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to press this deep into my crease to add that depth in there. This brush is perfect for really carving out that crease while still blending out the color to keep it nice and blended and smooth. Now I'm going to go in with this darker violet shade and I'm going to start pressing this into my outer V with a Sigma E25 brush. This brush is really good, it's like a little dome brush and it's good for like darkening up that outer crease area. After I've darkened up the outer V, I'm going to go in with this super super gorgeous duochrome shade from the Buxom palette called La La Lavish and I'm going to go ahead and wet my little wet n wild concealer brush with some Fix Plus. And then I'm going to pack that in my crease area. You can see how gorgeous and metallic this shade is. It's got some like purple and blue reflex in it and it's perfect for this look. To apply this color, I am focusing the most pigment in my inner corner. And then I'm just going to work on blending that out and slowly tapering it off once I get towards the middle of my lid. Once I've got this shade nice and packed on, I am going to take a little bit of a Glitter Injections Press Glitter in Baby Tears and I'm going to start by just packing this on lightly over top with that same Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. I'm not making this too pigmented, I just want a little bit of glitter to kind of enhance that blue tones in that shade. Next, I'm just coating my top lashes with this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This mascara is so good at really curling your lashes and keeping them super long. It honestly might be my new favorite over my Too Faced Better Than Sex, even though I've been a ride or die for that mascara for so long. For lashes today, I'm going to go in with these Kish lashes in the style Posh. I wanted something nice and fluffy, and these are perfect for this look. Moving on to the face, I'm priming my skin and I'm mixing together the L'Oreal Lumi Primer and this NYX Hydrating Primer. These two together are like a match made in heaven. They make my skin so perfect and it's a really nice base under the foundation. For foundation today, I am going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the shade Natural 02. This foundation is the best drugstore foundation I've ever tried. It is so full coverage and it's just the perfect mix between matte and dewy. It's kind of like a satin finish and it really just covers up all the little imperfections that I don't want to see and it does a great job of like evening out my skin tone. Now I'm just color correcting under my eyes with this Smashbox color correcting stick in the shade orange. This stuff has been really good to me lately. Um, it's not adding any extra layers of makeup because it's super thin and so it acts as a great color corrector underneath because it's not going to add any more layers of makeup under my eyes which helps it not to crease. And now I'm just going to go over that color corrector with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to brighten up my under eye and I'm also going to add some around my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, and a little bit on my chin. Once I have that place where I want it to be, I'm just going to blend it out with a damp Real Techniques sponge. This is my favorite method to blend out my concealer. I just think it makes it nice and flawless. 
Now you can see here, I used that point on the sponge to kind of clean up that eyeshadow that might have gone below my lower lash line. I just kind of make that area at the outer corner a little sharper. And then I'm going to just set that under eye concealer with this shade in my Lorac Contour Kit. Now I'm just adding some MAC Nylon Shadow on my brow bones and in my inner corners. I did touch up my brows with this Milani Brow Fix Kit and then I'm just setting them with this Maybelline Clear Brow Gel. I'm moving on to the lower lash line and I'm pressing that dark purple shade in with this e.l.f. little pencil brush and I'm just focusing this on the outer third of my eye. Now I'm just adding this NYX Wonder Pencil in the lightest shade in my waterline. This is just going to keep the eyes nice and bright because we are going in with a lot of like um, colorful purples and things like that. So it's going to keep the eyes nice and bright. Now I'm just blending out that darker purple color with the lightest purple and I'm using a pencil brush, the E30 from Sigma. Then I'm just going to lightly coat my lower lashes with the CoverGirl in Bloom Mascara. Moving on back to the face, I'm taking this medium contour shade from my Lorac Contour Kit and I'm going to blend this out with the Morphe M523 brush. I'm just adding that to the hollows of my cheeks as well as my little temple area. Now that I'm done contouring, I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Bronze and I'm just going to blend this all around my face with the Sigma F30 brush. It's just a nice big fluffy brush and it's going to really add that bronze all over the face and make it look nice and airbrushed. I'm using the Sigma E40 brush to just slightly contour my nose with that same Shimmer Brick. For blush today, I'm going to use this Becca blush in the shade Watermelon. This stuff is so cool because it actually smells like watermelon. It is so yummy. And I'm going to use the Morphe E4 brush to just pat that all over the apples of my cheeks. For highlight today, I'm going to use ColourPop's Spoon. And I'm going to add this all over my face with this Wet n Wild brush. I'm not sure the name of the brush because it doesn't have it and I threw away the packaging. But it is just kind of like a thick fan brush and this has been my favorite for applying highlight. And I'm just adding this to the tops of my cheekbones, around my nose, a little bit on my forehead, chin, and cupid's bow. For lips today, I'm going to use ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Trap. This is a perfect purpley gray nude for this look. I think it goes really well with the eye. It's still neutrally nude, but it does play into that purple we have going on on the eyes. Once I am done with the lips, I'm going to complete this look with some MAC Fix Plus to set the makeup and keep it put all day long. And that's a completed look, guys. I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. I think this look is so fun and different, but still wearable at the same time. These shadows are so gorgeous and I think anyone would look gorgeous in this look. So don't be afraid to play with different colors and have fun with it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye guys!